Do I look good? Be honest. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caleb, I'm the Furniture Cowboy. And if you're new to my channel, for the past eight months, my wife and I have been refinishing furniture in our two garages out of our apartment. Recently, we have decided to transition from refinishing furniture and go purely into building our own furniture. So in this video, we're gonna be transforming our garage to better fit our needs. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so eight months ago, we got two garages at our apartment complex. One we use for staging furniture and the other we use for actually working on the furniture. This is the working garage. It started off, we were just refinishing, so it was mainly for painting and doing the occasional cut for creating legs and stuff like that. Since we're recently switching to creating furniture rather than refinishing, we need a, to do a bit of reorganization. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's getting a little bit out of hand and a little bit chaotic as we're collecting more tools. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking everything out of this garage, cleaning up the space, vacuuming, that kind of thing, and then we'll put everything back in, but in a way that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, and that is gonna allow us to ditch. Oh, hey, <laughs> check this out. So this was our, this is what I was talking about in my last video. We put these on that table and clearly, as you can see, it didn't work. So wouldn't recommend doing that. But now that's gonna let us take this down since we're not painting in here anymore really. We're only gonna really be painting drawer fronts. So we're gonna leave wall floor situation that we have going on. We'll leave that and this can come down. So that'll be cool. So in the past, when we were refinishing furniture, a lot of our garage had to be empty space where we could just put the finished pieces down and get ready to paint them. We're going to be transforming our space so it's a little bit better for building furniture. We don't need that much space. We need a lot of surface where we can cut wood and we need to be able to make the best use out of the tools that we have while keeping the space pretty walkable and easy to navigate. Previously, we had this whole wall taken up by us painting furniture. So now that that's gone, that's gonna free up a ton of space. And we have the idea, basically right now, these are sitting in the center of the room, taking up the entire room basically. So we're gonna push those against that wall. And that's gonna be a huge help because now we can pretty much put everything that produces sawdust on this side of the room. Because right now, a lot of it's here. And anytime I use the bandsaw, the sawdust just collects in like this corner or the other corner and it becomes impossible to get it out of the corner. So now this way, if there's ever dust, we can just like either leaf blow it out or sweep it into a corner and vacuum it up. One of the struggles of working out of an apartment complex is we only have one power outlet in our garage. So if you see my shirt pooling up with sweat in this video, it's because we can't plug an air conditioned system into our garage because it would blow the fuse and we don't have access to the fuse box, so we'd have to ask somebody. So that's just one of the limitations that we have to work with.
Okay, so since we are filming videos in our garage as well, one of the most important things that we have to have in there is box lighting. And in the past, we had these box lights on gigantic tripods that took up a bunch of the floor space. I would walk through the garage and trip and it would fall over. Sometimes the light would break and then we'd have to wait for a new light to come in. So they were constantly just falling. And if they weren't completely falling over, they were like almost falling and I would be scrambling to catch them. <laughs> All right, so for the past eight months, these lights have been the bane of my existence. Hey neighbors. So these things have just been super annoying. They're on these little tripods and the top is way heavier than the bottom. And yeah, I just constantly knock them over, break the lights. We have to buy new lights. It's not as bright without the lights. So we wait in the darkness for new lights to come in. <laughs> so we're gonna be hanging them today on the wall, which is gonna be freaking amazing. So let's get to it. The biggest upgrade in this video, I think, is we got some wall mounts for those lights. So now the cords aren't gonna be on the ground, they're gonna be up, everything's gonna be up here, and that's gonna create just a much, much better space for us. Ooh, I can barely, can barely get it. So another huge upgrade that we're doing is reorganizing the cord situation, which was another nightmare. We're gonna be trying to bring all of the cords, or pretty much all of the cords that were on the ground, either bring them up or push them out of the way. So we just have one outlet that we're working with. So we have that one outlet, we have one cord with a three prong separator, and then that's going to our two lights and a power strip. So that's what we're working with. So a big part of this video is figuring out how to best utilize things and how to keep things out of the way so we don't trip over them. So clearly you can see that there are some challenges that come with doing this type of thing out of an apartment complex, but if you're like us and you don't have a house, which I think is the vast majority, it's still pretty, I think, awe-inspiring that you are able to do this out of an apartment complex as long as you can push through those challenges and figure out what works for you. I'm really excited that we were able to transform our space. I'm really excited for the future. I love how it feels being in the garage now. And yeah, please subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date with videos that we'll be putting out. We've got some exciting stuff coming up, so don't miss out on that. Click that notification bell. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.